everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you guys on this look that you see right here I love this makeup look I think it is so beautiful I use a lot of really warm kind of peachy tones and then I also use a really gorgeous shimmery gold shade it's actually a foiled eyeshadow from makeup geek and I love it like I'm so obsessed with this makeup look and I also tried out a lot of different new products that I've had for a while that I haven't really dived into until recently. So I'm really excited to share with you guys some of my newfound loves. And yeah, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay updated on my makeup tutorials, my product reviews, and just anything that I put up. I really hope that you guys enjoy and I'll see you next time. Bye. For a majority of the eyeshadows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. The first shade is Golden Okra, and I'm using this on a Morphe blending brush as my transition shade, just making sure to keep it on the outer corner until a lot of the product is off of my brush, and then I start to move inwards to the inner part of the eye. And then the next shadow is Raw Sienna. This is about two or three shades darker than Golden Okra, and I'm going to be doing the exact same motion just applying these over top of each other so that we can get a really blown out smoky eye that is my favorite technique is just to use similar shadows but darker and darker as we go in the same motion and that is how we get the most blown out smoky eye then with more of a taper blending brush again by Morphe I'm going in with burnt orange and this one definitely has a more of an orange tone to it and as you can see I'm making sure to concentrate this on the outer corner first and then slowly working that into the crease then I'm taking the darkest and brightest orange from the palette. This is Real Gar, and I'm using the little brush that came with the palette and I'm really just concentrating this on the outer corner of the eye because I wanted something that was going to be a little bit more of a pop. I love the ombre look of eyes whenever you do something smoky and the color that we're going to be going in with soon is really going to give that effect. And then I'm going to be going back in with golden okra on a different blending brush just to make sure that we don't have any harsh lines and everything is blown out smooth and seamlessly. Then for the star of the show, I'm using a foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek called Magic Act. Oh my gosh, you guys, this eyeshadow is seriously incredible. It's such a gorgeous tone of gold. It works for every single skin tone. You can be really fair. You can be super dark and it's going to look gorgeous on you. And as you can see, I'm just applying that to the inner corner and then I'm making sure not to cover up too much of the outer corner with it because I really want those oranges to show. And then I'm going back in with a little bit of burnt orange to apply into the outer crease to make sure that everything is blown out and seamless again. Then to highlight my brow bone, I'm going in with Tempera. It's a really nice kind of like a peachy pink shade and I'm just applying that directly above where all of those shadows are. Then I'm going to give my lashes a quick coat of mascara. This is the first time I've tried this formula. It's by Physicians Formula and it's the Argon Wear Mascara. I actually really liked it. Um, it didn't feel clumpy or anything like that on my lashes and it give it it gave my lashes a little bit of volume. <laughs> then for my falsies, I'm going in with Coco Lashes in the style Bella. Oh my god, these are so gorgeous, you guys. They are so freaking beautiful. And then for my primer, nothing new here. Um, I was feeling like my pores were a little bit enlarged today than they were normally so I just decided to go in with my NYX Angel Veil Primer and then I am also using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation which I actually did a demonstration and review of this foundation for you guys. I will have that video linked down below because that's why I'm like talking through this and I didn't really show you because I kind of filmed these videos together but oh my god this is literally my favorite foundation of all time 
seriously, it's like taking the place of so many of my other favorite foundations. It's amazing. And then for my concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and just blending that out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And then, oh my gosh, I'm so freaking excited for this part because I went out of my comfort zone and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. Can you believe it? Yes. And for my brush for this, I am just taking the center contouring color in the shade Shadow. And I used my makeup brush set brushes for this particular technique. So I used the really skinny brush to apply it in the hollows of my cheeks, around my temples, my nose, and underneath my lip. And this just gives you a really precise contour. Before you go in with your blending, you can really make sure that you are applying the product exactly where you want it. And then afterwards, you can see I'm using a much thicker and denser brush to kind of blend out those areas just so that they don't look harsh or anything like that. And honestly, you guys, I love this technique. Like I only have done this one time, but it was super easy. It was a lot of fun to work with different products and different brushes that I don't really use very often. So I will really try to start incorporating this kind of technique in my tutorials as the days go on. But then I really wanted to make sure that that contour didn't move. So I went in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shades Dolce de Leche. And I used the highlighting shade for underneath my eyes just to set that concealer. And then I also went in with a little bit of the contouring shade to kind of set that contour to make sure that it did not budge. So I didn't really take a whole lot of product on my brush. I just added a little tiny bit and then I used my Morphe Contouring Brush. I can't remember the actual number of this, but... I just used that to set. And then I am obsessed with this blush, you guys. It's by NARS, and it's called Gulu, I'm pretty sure, G-O-U-L-U-E. But I apply that to the apples of my cheeks, and it is such a beautiful pinky lavender rose shade. Oh, oh my God. I'm obsessed. It's so freaking gorgeous. And then I decided to fill in my brows a little bit with the Model Launcher Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. Um, normally I use the Elizabeth Mott like brow gel, but I couldn't find that. So I don't know where that little thing ran off to, but I decided to go with the pencil instead. And then to line my waterline, I'm using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Cashmere. And then for my tight line, I decided to go in with a little bit of burnt orange on a flat definer brush just on the outer corner of the eye because I really wanted the eyes to kind of have that like elongated almond effect. And so that's a little tip for if you want that kind of eye look is just to keep the darker shades on the outer and then put a lighter shade on the center. And then I'm taking a pencil brush and buffing that out with a a little bit of golden okra and then for the center of my eye I decided to go in with this really really beautiful kind of shimmery taupe golden shade called primavera and I took a little tiny precision brush and just applied that to the inner corner of my eye and then brought it about to the center of my lower lash line just to kind of open up the eyes a little bit more then for my highlight, I am obsessed with the shade, especially if you have olive tones in your skin. It is gorgeous. It's by Gerard Cosmetics in the shade Marilyn, and it's beautiful. Like, it gives such a gorgeous highlight. The way that I like to apply it is first with a fan brush, and then I go in with a more precise brush, as you can see here, to really accentuate the height and part of my cheekbone. And then I also like to highlight my nose and my cupid's bow. So I highlight the top of my cupid's bow and then along the side just to make the top part of my lip a little bit more defined. And then for my lips, I decided to go in with ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in the shade Beeper. This is such a beautiful, like warm, neutral shade. It's amazing. It's gorgeous. And I love the formula of this shade particularly just because it sits on the lips really well. Like I literally wore this shade all day long and didn't have to reapply it a single time at all. And I also love how it wears with lip gloss underneath. So that is it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time. Bye.